Hey, my friend, I'm so proud of you for making this decision to join us in the 21 day journey of prayer and fasting here at Echo Church. This is something that we do every single year. In fact, we've done it from our beginning and it's our saying to God, we want more of you in our lives and we want more of you in and through our ministry. We can't do this without you. In fact, we believe that to be more true now than ever in our country, in what we're experiencing in our world as a whole, we need God's presence. We need God's power. And if you have been watching the news the last week, I'm sure that your heart is just as grieved as mine for our nation. There's so much brokenness. There's so much fear. There's so much anger and hostility. And the only solution is not a political leader. It, it's not a political system. It's Jesus. It's the king who came to take our sin on a cross and rose again from the dead. And that's our hope for our nation. And that's our hope personally. So for me, uh, this year, I want more of God. I want more of his wisdom. I want more of his knowledge. I want more of his power. I want more of him in my life. I want more of him in my family. I want more of him in our church. And I don't want to do this on my own power. I don't want to hum my way through on experience or knowledge that I've achieved over the last 20 plus years of ministry. I want fresh filling from the Holy Spirit. And I know that's what you want. I know that's why you're doing this. And so here's a couple things that will help you get the most out of our journey together. First of all, make a commitment on the front end what you're going to do. Just between you and God, it might be social media, it might be a Daniel fast, it might be a full fast, it might be a part of the time or the whole time. But write in that journal that we gave to you, you get it at our website, write down what your commitment is and stick to it. Um, there's something powerful about making a commitment, that commitment calls you up. Secondly, every day we've got these videos, we're going to drop one for you. Our goal is to make it three minutes or less. And then we have a devotional, read through that. There's some passages of scripture, some questions to meditate on that will help you. But today, as you begin, I love this first journal entry from Sarah Rogers when she talks about Romans chapter 12, one and two, when it says, do not be conformed any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. I wanna encourage you right now to ask the Holy Spirit to come to renew your thoughts and to renew your heart to bring you back to the heart of God. There's nothing more powerful than the Spirit of God working through His Word to renew us to what God cares about, to love, to joy, to peace, to hope. Ask Him right now as you journal and as you pray, where do you need your heart renewed and where do you need your thoughts renewed? God has new mercy for you this, this morning, new mercy and he wants to meet you. So I just imagine thousands of us as a church huddled or spread, I should say, across Silicon Valley with our journals open on our knees before God, seeking him. That's the kind of church that God wants. That's the kind of church that God pours out his grace and favor on. And I believe that no matter what happens this year, no matter what happens with the virus or with our nation or with our world, if we will seek God, if we'll go after his heart, God will bless us and nothing will stop the work that God wants to do in us. I love you so much. It's such a blessing to be your pastor. I cannot wait to see what God does in you through our 21-day journey together. Love you.